Good morning, traders. Welcome to this video on the euro dollar and pound dollar. My name is Chris from Elite Currency. Before we take a look at the markets, though, I wanted to let you know about our automated trading system, Ultima. There's a special 10% bonus on the deposit. If you start before the 31st of January, in January, basically, and uh, basically Ultima is a trading system based, partly based on SWOT method. You can see all of the back testing here. Great results, live testing as well. Great results. Cost at this moment is, well, basically no upfront costs, only profit sharing model. So it's a win-win and this will last uh, only shortly. That's only for this month and next month. And otherwise, we're going to be changing that again. So join now uh, before it's too late. Also, uh, to take you know advantage of that 10% bonus, you will you can join in January and you'll get that 10% extra by uh, opening account. The only thing you have to do is open a verify account and then fund your account to start trading with Ultima. All right, let's start now with the euro dollar. And on Monday, I was expecting a bearish continuation, but I said, hold on, wait on for a correction first let's see maybe there could be a zigzag up or a bear flag and we got the zigzag up into the 111 111 25 zone and that's where a rejection indeed took place so pretty spot on here and a good rejection there at this 21 ema zone and a good follow through for the moment so everything you know going as a, as planned and according to the analysis here and i think that a continuation lower now very likely looking at this particular structure we see a very good break pullback and continuation price is retesting the 110 111 110 80 area again and i think a continuation lower is very very likely towards 110 65 uh 110 50 110 25 110 maybe even as low as 109 75 and 109 50 but we got to keep in mind of course there is eurozone news coming at the end of this week tomorrow and friday so that could limit the downside on the euro dollar all right, so we got to take a look at you know the target step by step. For the moment, probably uh, with five, uh, the most likely target I think at this point. We're looking at I think a you know the wave pattern is a little bit tricky at this moment, but I wouldn't even want to dive into that for now. I don't think it's that relevant uh, on the lower time frames, but higher time frames it's starting to look more like a A B C perhaps, and that price is now in a wave C. We've certainly broken through a lot of support areas and making clearly lower lows and lower highs so i think for the moment the price can retest the support zone here ultimately it can go back all the way down uh, into the wiz six zone to complete that wave c maybe even break below it but somewhere in here turn back up again perhaps for a bullish structure because if i look at those higher time frames as explained in the video on monday i do think that the overall weekly and monthly charts are looking bullish so i think that that could be a reason for price to bounce back up in this zone for now though bears in control and price is breaking through 111 and uh we had another break we had already a, a break of this bear flag here uh then i said wait for the correction so we had that up to the 144 may a bounce at the 144 then a break above the uh, sorry below the 20 may and now a break below the wiz three and these fractals after a, uh, a bounce at the 21 may again so you can see how valuable these moving averages are in understanding the overall structure and, and chart. Uh, and that is something I explain in my SWOT course. All right. So for the moment, I think bearish continuation, even on a 50 minute chart, I think should be visible today. Uh, let's see, of course. But uh, I think for the moment on a 50 minute world, we're looking at a potential breakout right here, right now, if it pushes below 110.75, in my view, if it does bounce up, then I think it will be limited to the area about 144 EMA. I would probably put looking at this particular wave uh, pattern, probably put the fib from here to here. All right, because we are seeing some divergence on the 50 minute chart. And I would look for a bounce at the 38 or 50 fib at around 109, sorry, 11090, 11095 uh, for a down move. All right, so one of those two options, either a break or a bounce at these fibs for the moment on uh, on the euro dollar and uh i would expect price to go down to 11050 11040 then it might stall because of those news events as i said on the euro all right pound dollar wow what a drama ultimately though did bounce at the 88.6 fib it was really made it exciting in the sense that it was really almost pushing through that fib but ultimately we got a bounce we got a bullish price action here uh, one hour a uh, pin bar with a strong close near the high, ultimately getting the 88.65 bounce 
And then price moving up to the 20 May, making a uh, sideways pattern at that moving average zone, then breaking above it, break pullback continuation for a move up to uh, 130.75 here, and now making a bull flag. So it is, you know, with that bounce now behind us, a triangle pattern is becoming more likely because we have another higher low. So this could be wave A of the triangle, this could be B, uh, this could be C. And uh, I would not classify this as D because that swing is a little bit too small, but this could all be part of D. With the blue D, within the blue D, there could be a green A. Uh, this could be green B, and we're now in maybe green C, for instance. So all of that could be part of that triangle pattern and price, if it does move up, could go to the minus 272 target at 130.160 or the minus 61.8 target at 132.20. Those would be the main targets for that triangle. That could be also a bouncing spot for a move down for a potential wave E if the triangle is bullish. If the triangle is bearish, then that would be a wave D and we would still go up for a wave E and then down. So that depends. I'm open to both directions for this triangle, but uh, certainly starting to look more and more like a triangle with these higher lows and uh, lower highs. All right, so for the moment, bulls in control, strong bullish momentum, certainly uh, visible on the one-hour chart. And if we look at the daily chart, then we also have a decent daily candle as well. So back to the hourly chart, though. And uh, what I'll be looking for, let me get rid of this fib, uh, is for price to, at this moment, make a breakout probably above 130.70, 130.75. And I think that could kick off the bullish momentum towards 131.60 for the moment. And I think in that case, it could be wave one, two, maybe even internal wave one, two, three, four, five, like that of a blue three. And then it could be a blue four and a blue five to complete that bigger wave C. So for the moment, a break above that, I think should lead towards a continuation after this momentum and minor pullback looks more like a bull flag and I expect continuation on higher on the uh, pound dollar, Al unless price breaks uh, below uh, basically the 130.25 zone, the 61.8 fib uh, goes into maybe these tops here at 130.10. If price were to break below that, well, of course, that would change perspectives and uh, something else might be going on. But otherwise, if it stays above that, I do think it looks bullish. All right, that's it for now. Make sure to join Ultima EA in January for the 10% bonus, deposit bonus, or in February, of course, to uh, join with no upfront costs. Uh, otherwise, wish you all great trading and see you in the next video. Cheers. Bye-bye.